So, there's death metal, but I've always had a hard time trying to find a band that really, really, truly, like, because death metal's good, there's many great bands, but it's hard to find a band that actually has that kind of, not just brutality, but also kind of like a, uh, a sonic hatred in their sound. One that just pummels you, while at the same time you can tell that there is just massive amounts of hatred. Especially someone that, when you're having, when you're feeling angry, and I know other metalheads feel the same, like when you're angry, it's great to listen to death metal, but it's rare to come across a death metal album that is just visceral, absolutely visceral that you can tell, you can just sit there and listen to it and you're like, man, this makes me really feel, it empowers you. It goes beyond the, it, it takes your anger and your hatred that you're feeling at the time and you just feels like you're directing it into listening to this album. I fit, there's a few albums that I found like this and this is one of them. Ritual Death Metal by Death Chain. I've seen reviews of this album before saying that it has a bit too much overly ritualistic elements into it. It does have a few ritualistic elements in it, while at the same time keeping that visceral edge to the sound. Now this band, they're a death thrash band. They've been around for many years. Each of their albums either has the word dead or death in it. But I haven't listened to their other albums. This is the only one I've listened to. This is from 2013. And I have to say, I was not expecting what I was expecting. They're a death thrash album, but you couldn't really hear the thrash metal elements on this song, album. It was very much just absolute, even in the slow songs, it was still visceral. It opens up with an intro that kind of is deceptive, but at the same time, very evil sounding. Uh, that song is Voice of Shurur. It only goes for about a minute or so, and then it goes into Steel of the Vultures. This is probably my favorite song of the whole album. It is, the, it is obviously the intro song. With a lot of bands, they like to keep that intro song the most pummeling. This isn't actually the most pummeling on this album, actually. That award would probably have to go to King Pazazu. But Steel of the Vultures, it is a brilliant overall song. It has brutality, it is visceral all the way through. Whereas King Pazazu, it is much, much, much more. It is probably the most pummeling song of the whole album. In fact, these two songs are probably fighting it up there with my favourite song of the album. The other songs of this album, especially songs like Worm Upon the Lands, it's, you can tell that there's much more realist, ritualistic tones in it. It's more at a medium pace compared to the other two songs that I just mentioned. Uh, still quite brutal. Later in that song, you start to actually hear chants. Other songs... Um, such as Tiamat's Eyes of Death. That's actually probably the softest song on the album, apart from the intro, of course. It's, but it is still amazing. Probably not as visceral as all the other songs. Not very visceral at all. It's probably the only song that I could say is, um, but at the same time, saying that, it's kind of like a welcome step back ease into it before the end of the album, but the album still ends quite viscerally brutal. Uh, this is, this along with another album that just came out recently, which I'll be reviewing at some other point, uh, by a band called Vitriol, um, who started off as a deathcore band, but now is pretty much full in the death metal category. Uh, but this album is just brilliant. If you ever win one of those just brutally angry moods that you're just like, you cannot, you need something, you can't, you don't want just death metal that just sits there and goes off and talks about ancient kings. I mean, this does talk about uh, myth mythology from what I can tell, but the sound to it 
doesn't actually go in that direction. Sound just goes into a direction that it, um, you need at those points in your life. And that's all I actually have to say about this album. If you're ever in one of those moods, Death Chain, Ritual Death Metal. It has that brutality that I could compare to, say, behemoth's more heavy stuff. And that's all I have to say. Death Chain, Ritual Death Metal, get into it. It is sick as.